In the quiet town of Mattoon, Illinois, September 1944, an eerie series of events began to unfold. The calm was shattered by an unseen menace, an assailant who would later gain notoriety as the Mad Gasser. It all started with Aline Kearney, a resident who reported an unsettling sweet odor invading her home. Soon after, she was struck with a paralysis that left her in the town in a state of distress. It was just the beginning. Word spread and with it, a palpable fear. Kearney and her daughter were labeled as the Prowler's first victims, but other cases would soon arise. The townsfolk, once secure in their homes, began to patrol their streets armed, their eyes wide and hearts pounding. Urban Rafe, a sheet metal worker whose brother had died in Normandy that July, reported that he and his wife had been attacked the night before the Kearneys. Awaking around 3 a.m., Rafe recalled feeling ill, yet unable to move as fumes poured in through his open bedroom window. The once tranquil Mattoon was now a town holding its breath, ever watchful, ever fearful of the unknown terror. Returning home around 10 p.m., Carl and Beulah Cordes noticed a white cloth pressed against their screen door. Beulah grabbed the fabric, brought it to her face without thinking, and inhaled. She was struck with a sudden feeling of paralysis, and her throat was so badly burned that blood poured from her mouth. On the sidewalk near the Cordes couple's front porch, a well-worn skeleton key and a tube of lipstick were discovered. Local officials called for assistance from the Illinois Department of Public Safety. As fear gripped the town, the police force faced criticism for their handling of the case, leading to state investigators being called in. But the mad gasser was just getting started. The incidents continued, each report similar to the last. A sweet odor followed by temporary paralysis. The police chief blamed a local factory for the odor, only to retract his statement later. The unsettling pattern of events sent waves of fear through the community. The sweet scent of terror hung heavy in the air, making every breath a gamble. Mattoon was caught in a web of fear, each new day bringing with it the dread of another attack. The unseen assailant had become the talk of the town. The police force was under fire, their attempts to calm the public met with criticism. The police chief's hasty conclusion about the local factory did nothing but fan the flames of panic. His subsequent retraction only added to the uncertainty. The fear was palpable. A silent enemy was at large, striking at will, leaving its victims paralyzed in its wake. The town's trust in its protectors was dwindling, their confidence in safety shattered. The people of Mattoon were in the grip of an unseen terror, their lives held hostage by the elusive Mad Gasser. The story of the Mad Gasser, however, had a reach far beyond the boundaries of Mattoon. It gained international attention. A chilling tale whispered among soldiers stationed overseas, a mystery that intrigued and alarmed in equal measure. The mad gasser of Mattoon disappeared as mysteriously as he appeared, leaving behind a town forever marked by fear and a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Not all mysteries have clear answers, and sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. If you enjoyed this eerie piece of history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to uncover and share these intriguing mysteries from the past. Remember, the world is full of stories waiting to be told. So join us on this journey of discovery, and let's unravel the mysteries of the past together. Until next time, keep asking questions and keep seeking answers.